Hello and welcome to an honest walkthrough and review of String Shades by Sonic Cinema. This is a slightly different string library. Let me just tell you what the articulations are and that should at least give you an idea of what to expect. So we've got undulating, emotive, pulsing, wild trills and fragments. So that should at least kind of give you an idea of what to expect. Now this is a 14 piece chamber ensemble and we do have a number of different mic positions, uh, close, mid, far, ambient and a mix and they do have this character fader as well now this library i'm going to tell you off the bat requires the full version of contact this will not work within the contact player so that might immediately put some of you off although interestingly enough when i started playing and messing around with this library i instantly got vibes of another library called trails by fracture sounds very similar, not quite the same. This one is cello and violin solo, while this one is a 50, oh, sorry, 14 piece chamber ensemble. I think I will be doing a comparison video between these two products sometime in the future. So without further ado, let's jump into the full version of Contact 6.8 or later. A couple of different windows we have on the UI. Of course, you've got the home page. We have mapping where if you've got multiple articulations on at once, you can map them to play at certain ranges, which is really nice. You have a sequencer, if that's your thing, extra information. Back to the home page. Uh, simply by flicking this button up here, you can turn on or off what articulations you want to use. Of course, we have the folders with all the different instruments and patches that come with this. We have singles, which is your five core articulations. We have pairs, which is their predetermined pairs, which you can just drop in and use. And then they have these designed, which we'll definitely have a look at in a bit. But back to the main UI, you can of course control the gain and panning of each articulation uh, and if you really want to, you can change them there. Down at the bottom, we have our global proximity. This will uh, adjust all your mic positions and if you click on mics, you'll notice that that translates exactly over as well, which is a really nice little feature. So there's your four different mics. Uh, you can also make it more stable stereo or mono if you really want as well and then they have their own mix we'll definitely be checking that out in a bit on the right hand side we have effects eq and envelope i've noticed especially with the far and ambient mic you definitely want to add a little bit more release i'll say that off the bat for you character this is something a little bit different and something that definitely made my mind uh, reflect back on the fracture sounds trills is this character knob here it's automatically off you have to turn it on and then with in it you have these different atmospheres automatically the apocalypse one is turned on and simply by clicking them down at the bottom you can turn them on and off mix them in solo definitely worth messing around with and then this is kind of a master volume button for the character that's what they're calling it now the dynamic mod wheel does something a little bit different with this library especially the first three the first three are kind of your longs so then you have this kind of trill one and then you have this short plucky uh, esque fragmented patch at the end i kind of wish they did more short patches with this library although it is nice to see it's not just longs but with the first three ones right at the bottom uh, i guess i'll just demonstrate with undulating it kind of just plays a normal ish long See, plain and simple, how is that undulating? Yeah, it slightly undulates, which is nice. It's not just your box standard long, but then you add more. It gets a little bit more crazy. So it's nice to see that they've definitely put some thought behind this, and this isn't just a volume knob. It kind of tones it down a bit for when you don't want it just undulating all over the place. So that's really nice. Uh, the same happens with the emotive and pulsing, but we will experiment with that too in a bit. You'll also note I have the character on, but nothing was on underneath. So that was the pure sound, as it were, with a bit of reverb and our mic positions there. But let's play undulating out the box. We'll then check out our mic positions without the reverb, and then we'll check out the rest of the articulations, check out some of the designed ones as well. So that's kind of the plan. Let's just jump in and mess around.
What's nice, initially my thoughts for this library was it's going to be slow and chordal stuff, but as you saw there, you can pick the pace up a little bit and do some melodic stuff. Really like the dynamic fader and the use of that within this library, uh, especially with that patch. Let's now look at our mic position. So we're going to turn the reverb completely off and we'll just pipe everything up right off the bat so we can flick between them without uh, my talking. And we'll look at the mix as well. So close mic right off the bat, that is so loud. Let's look at the mid. And our far. As I kind of said earlier, this is where you want to add a bit more release, but be careful. You can add too much, and if you max it out, it just goes on forever. That's a good balance, maybe just a tad bit more, probably around the two mark. There we go. Uh, ambient. And last but not least, their own mix. Overall, I love the mic positions. The close is close. My favorite is probably the mid and the far and ambient are nice as well. The different mic positions. Don't forget to add that little bit of release just so you can get that reverb tail, that room tail there. And if we just hit that knob, it fixes it again. That's really nice. I think for the rest of the articulations, I'm just going to stick it on their mix for now. And then we might mess around with the mix a little bit later. So let's move on to our next articulation and that will be emotive. And again, the mod wheel just gives us that lovely dumbed down version of emotive and then just so much more. Change over to our pulsing. It's the little things with this library that just stand out to me. Uh, like that detail with the dynamics. I just love you bringing it in and out. It gives it so much more emotion. It just gives it so much more life. And this library has life. It feels organic. It sounds realistic. Now, moving on to our wild trills, you get this pop-up window, which is nice. Uh, so basically, it's just saying velocity to perform minor trills, play keys softly. To perform major trills, play keys hard. I wish more libraries would do this. Normally, it's two different articulations, and you have to flick between them. But this, it's based on velocity. Uh, and again, our dynamic fader does something similar right at the bottom. It's obviously a trill, but it just takes it back a bit. Because it is quite a wild... <laughs> trill. And if you really want to, you can play minor and major at the same time.
I'm just picturing like swarms of bugs flying in and out of woods. I don't know why that's in my mind, but that's the image this articulation <laughs> gives me. But you do have a beautiful full range. And there's a 14 piece chamber ensemble that they've recorded here. It's not a solo library. Last but not least are fragments. And again, the dynamic faded there, right at the bottom, you're getting less, it's slower, put at the top, you're getting a lot more. I think this one actually would really benefit from some close miking. Let's take it off their mix and go back to our mic positions. It's kind of a cool effect actually just messing with the proximity line, especially with the fragments. I think this is definitely my favorite articulation. Very plucky, very beautiful. Now it's time to mess with the character. Let's go back to undulating. Now automatically off the bat when you do turn this off and load it, it comes just with the apocalypse one turned on with all the patches it seems. Which, if we actually solo it, is this sort of sound. And we'll just flick through the different ones you've got. And don't forget to turn them on, I should say, as well. So you've got a couple of different atmospheric, synthetic sort of sounds that you can put underneath to add an extra texture. And of course you can mix and match these five as well, you don't have to choose one or two. This is kind of the master volume button of the overall character, but you can, if you really want, create some very interesting and unique mixes. Make sure we don't solo that. But it just adds so much to the sound and especially if you're using this on its own or with maybe fewer instruments it can just add that little bit more uh, character as they've called it to your piece um, but i really actually quite like that added detail I almost wish I could turn the character off from the mod wheel, detach it, simply because it really is more of a dynamic, your traditional use of a dynamic mod wheel. So if we solo that quickly and then just pull the apocalypse on. While with the, so it is a volume knob, but while with the articulations, it kind of just brings them backwards or forwards, less so with volume. So, but then again, you can kind of mix it with that. Anyway, we've dawdled enough with the character. Let's move on to our pairs. Let's look and see what they've got here. Uh, they've definitely got a few to choose from. Let's go with pulsing and fragments.
Those mix very well together, actually. I wonder if we mix some wild trills in as well with that. Maybe not the right one. <laughs> Maybe wild trills and fragments would work better than those three together. Hmm, nice texture. Anyway, you have some pre-designated ones there. Of course, you can make your own and you can do pairs, triplets, whatever you want to do. Uh, really, it's open to you. But really, I want to move on now to the design. The pairs, you get what, what it is. Um, let's experiment with a couple of these. Gone Girl Gator. Okay, sounds interesting. So this is specifically just with the gator. We've actually got none of the articulations on. It's to do with the character we've got flicker and apocalypse on okay So there you have it, you've got some more electric-y stuff, and this does demonstrate how you can just mess around with the character, have a little bit of fun with that. You can even, I guess if you really wanted to, well, I don't think you can. I was going to say with the mapping, you could almost attach, you know, how this is undulating, we could just have the undulating activated up there, and then the emotive down there, but do that with the character instead, but you can't, because it's not attached to each articulation, it's own entity. That might be nice to do. I don't know, just a thought. Let's move on to another one. G kinetic, kinetic, that looks fun. I say looks, sounds fun. <laughs> Again, it's just with the character. And it's a mix of Flicker and Apocalypse. Okay, and there are plenty more to go through. Let me know down in the comments if you want me to go through any more of these in another video. But overall, what do I think of this product? Well, I like it. I like this character window. I like what they've done with the dynamic mod wheel, how you can bring it back and almost tame it and then go almost to the extremes. It's a lot of fun. It's something a little bit different, something to give character to your music. It definitely has this beautiful organic feel to it emotive and quite flexible. I feel you can use this in many different situations. I like the range of articulations that you do have. You have some longs, some trills, some more plucky stuff. It might have been nice to see some more shorts within this and with the mapping as well, maybe to do something with the character. And so you can build that up and mix them up differently throughout the board. This is definitely not a core bread and butter library. Um, but if you're in the market for something like this, don't forget to check out Trails by Fractious Sounds as well. I've done a whole video looking at that, and I think I will be doing a video comparing this with String Shades because they're very similar in sound. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.